Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of whatever this is, uh, Back to the Future. So, yeah. Edna! What? Hey, I got a hot lead for you. Oh? What is it? Uh, young scientist strands dog on courthouse roof. What? Look over there. Oh, for goodness sake. Mr. Brown! Please, Miss Strickland, not now. Can't you see I've got a rather delicate situation on my hands at the moment? My trial run... Trial run? Public hazard, I call it. And I'm sure my editor will agree. And really, I ask you... I don't, no, don't you oh, start to like me. Come here, Heine! Come on, boy. Fire escapes this way. How can I be a member of... Looks like I'm gonna need more help. Of all. Well then, if you refuse to give me a statement, I just won't tell your side of the story. Oh, that damned stuff. exasperating woman. Okay, Heine, the bad lady's gone. Come on down. <laughs> bad lady. If you guys saw the screen turn dark, it's because I suddenly unplugged my laptop. So that's why. Hey Doc, how's the room? It's a little cleaner than I would have imagined for a depression era flop house. How are your investigations going? Uh good news, Doc. Parker's ready to arrest Tannen, and it looks like I didn't go stag to the prom. Wonderful. What about Miss Trotter? I'm still working on her. I saw him. Who? My grandpa, on his streetcar for just a second. Doc, we gotta find him. Why? Trixie thinks she's got something that could put Kid away, but Artie's the only one who can tell her for sure. I guess he's kind of her tutor or something. Ah, so that's the connection. When your grandfather disappeared from Hill Valley for two months, the bond between him and Miss Trotter was severed, eventually leading to a timeline in which Trixie lost her nerve to betray Tannen. Yeah? We've got to find your grandfather. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me I'd run into your younger self tonight? Because I don't remember being out here tonight. Clearly, your interactions with my younger self two months ago have slightly altered my personal timeline. I never had the nerve to perform public experiments like he's doing. No matter, those experiments will be forgotten once I've seen Frankenstein. Frankenstein? Yes. Right now, my younger self is fiddling around out there with rocket propulsion systems for his demonstration at the expo. The thing that'll kick off your scientific career. Exactly. Now, the rockets are a horrible idea, and I'll soon realize that they'll never work. But eventually, I'll wander into that movie theater and see Frankenstein and clear my mind. I've kept the ticket stub from that movie in my wallet ever since. See? Why? Because it's during this movie that I'll have the inspiration for my breakthrough at the expo. It doesn't have anything to do with reanimating the dead, does it? Not the way you're thinking, no. But during that famous scene when Colin and Clive turned the wheel that raised that shrouded figure into the tower and that bolt of lightning struck, well... Let's just say more than one brain was reanimated that night. Yeah. Damn, it's not having much luck getting Einstein off the courthouse. I'm not surprised. Einstein's a smart dog, but heights give him the willies. What can we do? Hmm. I've got it. What? Just get my younger self distracted, and I'll handle the rest. Uh. Where'd you park the DeLorean? I hid it in a DeSoto lot. Nobody's buying cars these days, so it should be safe in there. Okay. Okay, I better get back to fixing history. Be careful, Marty. Let me cross. Touch those, they're very sensitive. Sorry. What do I need you to distract him? Nope. Don't worry, Emmett. I'm sure you'll get it right someday. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Right now, I'm more concerned with Einstein. Have 
you seen that Frankenstein movie yet? I hear it's pretty inspirational. Not yet. I've been so busy with my rocket car that I haven't found the time. But I'm planning on going tonight. At least I will once I get Einstein down. Uh, I think I need to yes Edna. Well, I'll nice. go off and see if I can get some help. You do that. I'll stay here and see if I can think of a way to get Einy off that ledge. Why am I getting more lag? Um... Oops. Um, I messed something up. Okay, so I had I have just crashed there. Um, so don't mess with settings. Um, is all I have to say. And I got back to the point where I was. Um, this the game auto saves every now and then, and I just got to a good point. So, uh, let's. I got a hot lead for you. Oh, what is it? Let's get Ani off the courthouse. Young scientist strands dog on courthouse roof. What? Look over there. Oh, for goodness sake. Mr. Brown. Please, Miss Strickland, not now. Can't you see I've got a rather delicate situation on my hands at the moment? My trial run- Trial run? Public hazard, I call it. And I'm sure my editor will agree. This scientific enterprise of yours represents a clear and present danger to public you safety. You know what represents a clear and present danger to public safety? Your singing voice. There's no need to get personal, Mr. Brown. Believe me, I have no intention of getting personal with you. I'm relieved to hear it. Flying cars of all the ridiculous juvenile notions. You mock notions. me, but just imagine. A world in which traffic jams and car crashes are a thing of the past. I might be more inclined to listen to you if your maiden voyage hadn't ended in a crash on one roof and a stranded dog on another. I'm working on getting him down. <gasps> Heine, how'd you get down? Clever dog. Well, fortune favors you tonight, but I warn you to be more careful in the future. Now, how to get that rocket car back down? Okay, so what do we do now? Um, Heine, I'm gonna need you. Hey boy, take a whiff of this. <laughs> Gotta love that nose. I've been laying low, officer, but I've got to go to the pictures once in a while. Hello, Arthur. Officer? I'll take it from here. But, but... We can talk at the Majestic, away from prying eyes. Yeah, Einstein, you done good. Big boy, Annie. So now... I need to go to the Majestic, I think. Oh, this way. Hey, Doc, I could use a little help. What's the problem? Isn't Tossie here? Should we be worried about your younger self and Ender Strickland? That is a peculiar wrinkle in the space-time continuum. But I'm sure nothing will come of it. I can't possibly imagine myself becoming attached to a woman like that. Why does Dark look so much like uh, Einstein? I mean, like with his hair kind of like a bit messed up. Is Artie still here? He's in the bathroom. Hey Artie, open up. You've got a gangster to bring down. Is it time for me to meet this Sylvia? No, it's time for you to meet Trixie. Trixie says she's got something that might be able to send Kid up the river, but that you're the only one she trusts to check it out. Me? What is she... Oh, I know what she's done. Clever. Care to let us in on the secret? Sorry, guys, but if Trixie's keeping it a secret, then so am I. That's all well and good, Mr. McFly, but if you and Trixie are going to collaborate on this evidence, we'll need to arrange a rendezvous. Well, Trixie's chained to kids speakeasy. So we'll have to bring Arthur to Trixie. Uh-uh. 
No way am I getting anywhere near that place again. I don't know how you talked me into this. Just stay back here in the shadows and don't come out until you see Trixie. You're sure I'll be safe here? Perfectly safe. We'd never make you take any unnecessary... <gasps> Sagan. Where's Kid? Don't worry. Uh, should I go back in there? Welcome back, sir. Now, here's a funny old What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? I'll probably complete the whole game in one day. And, uh, let me do this. You think you could draw a picture of this guy? Sure. Hey, that looks like that Artie McFly think. Hmm, I never noticed that before. Hey, uh, can you give him a hat like Artie wears? Should I come back for it? Suit yourself. <sighs> okay. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? I think I'll leave this for next episode, so thanks for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.